Hello everyone, I am Spagnum PI, and today we're taking a look at the EE4, one of the brand new blasters that has come out with the Best Bean DLC. It is available to get by completion of the hut contract Santa's Legacy. So first of all, let's look at the basic stats of the, the EE4. For the EE4 reads, while its predecessor, the EE3, focuses on precision and range, the EE4 was constructed with a short and stubby barrel to allow it to fire more effectively at a closer range with spread shot. Despite the reduction in accuracy at range, the weapon makes up for it in a greater rate of fire. And unfortunately, the stats and details for this poster, as well as the X8 Knight Sniper, are currently not really known very well but i can tell you this that it fires six shots per burst and it can fire seven bursts before overheating it also does a ton of damage per burst so if you're at point blake you can one burst someone this blaster is really a dedicated short range blaster however because anywhere beyond medium range the spread is so great that you really can't hit anything However, at medium ranges, you can still lay down some pretty effective cover fire on enemies. You may not be able to do very much damage, but as long as you can stay concealed and stay alive, you can kill someone at medium range. So to get the E4, you're going to have to complete the hut contract, Santa's Legacy. You need to get 30 kills with the EE3, 3 blaster rifle streaks, and 10 generator defense events. The 30 kills with the EE3 should not be very hard, just equip that EE3, use a good star card hand to complement the EE3, and go blasting with it. Get 3 blaster rifle streaks. While you're killing everyone with the EE3, the EE3 just happens to be a blaster rifle, so you shouldn't need to worry about getting blaster rifle streaks as long as you can get at least 7 kills with the EE3 per battle. And then to get 10 generator defense events, you need to stay in the sabotage game mode. And you need to play on the rebel side. After someone has activated a generator's bombs, stay near that generator and find a good hiding spot where you can pick off as many enemies as you can. Stay very close to the generator because when you kill someone that, and it's near the generator, it will count as a generator defense event. So let's take a look at some gameplay of the E4. So as you can see at point blank, it's a pretty short time to kill. And that is very nice because we all know that at point blank, it's sometimes hard to win one-on-one -on -one engagements with a really slow time to kill gun. But you don't really have that problem with the E4. However, you may have that problem with the EE4 if you just spam your trigger because it will lock up like the EE3 and skip a burst if you press the mouse button too quickly. So here we can see, again, very quick time to kill. So overall the EE4 is a great close quarters blaster. It is a very good rival 
to blasters such as the TH-17, SE-14C, and maybe even the CA-97. And is all around a great blaster that you should at least give a try. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, and may the force be with you.